I, I define it as a dirty dose of dubstep on a plate in your face. When you talk about a dubstep, I'm going to be quite honest now, I don't know what dubstep is. What do you call some vegan that you can't put a name to, innit? You've got to try to box it in some sort of category, innit? The sound system culture of the Jamaica sound systems in the 60s and 70s became a big feature of dubstep and probably partly why the name got phrased. The Bamboo Club was very famous. It was international. The music, the food, the atmosphere, it was meant for Caribbean people and anyone else who wanted to come and enjoy that kind of atmosphere with us was more than welcome. An emphasis is on the bass, which is a reggae music, dub music thing. Same thing with dubstep, same thing with drum and bass and jungle. Heavy bass lines, heavy beats, which are very prominent in the music that you're listening to. You have to have the raw bass a roll. You know what I mean? The man have to have finger picking it, a roll that. Like that bass now a roll and the drum a clap. A clap your hands at it and a dub. Introduced a lot of other people to reggae, you know? so you go to something that's a reggae gig and there's loads of young, white people that didn't know this music but they've forgotten to dubstep and re you know, researched the history of it and they can, you know, they, they know the old stuff, the 70s and 80s stuff. Same, isn't it? It's just a different name, and then it might just have a little thing different. But yeah, I think dub is dub. <laughs> whether you, whether you call it dub play, dub step, or it's dub, isn't it? Yeah.